Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. So how's everybody doing? A little wobble here in the bus today. Uh, yeah. Have y'all had an interesting couple of days? I would imagine you have. A lot is going on from a lot of different uh, perspectives. So it depends upon what perspective you're talking from. Um, or what you're looking at, and whether or not you're aware of it or not, but huge changes um, on the planet. Uh, and lots and lots of different storylines that are going on uh, because of that. So, um, which one is true and accurate? They all are. Uh, pretty much from a, a Gaia standpoint, things have much improved. Uh, I think I said this in one of my videos, maybe I was just talking to people, but I can hear Gaia much clearer now. Um, she's uh, got a lot more relief. I wouldn't say that she's her happy, bubbly self, of course, because she still is uh, got a part of her that's in the fourth dimension, but a lot of the uh, vibration has been relieved. Most of the difficult low vibrations that you hear me talk about that is based on fear and worry or anything around those vibrations uh, are essentially off now of Gaia herself. So it may not look like that to you, but the process is so is moving so fast and it's so underway that it's not even relevant at this point. Now, <clears throat> the process of getting this done or the process of, of completing the defractaline of those energies into higher vibrations will look like, through human eyes, um, a lot of weird stuff and a lot of weird stuff that will look very weird from different people's perspective as to how much or what game they're playing and how they want to perceive it. And you are absolutely, everyone has the right to perceive it and create whatever it is that they like. Okay, so first of all, in this video, I want to go on back to the basics. And this could be a really short video or it could be a long video. I'm not sure really what I'm going to say on this. But the title of it is going to be what really is the law of attraction? There's a lot of talk about the law of attraction, about how you use it uh, to create what you want. And I've talked about it quite a bit. The first thing I want you all to know is the way that the law of attraction is set up here with humans in their amnesia, um, with linear time space or the illusion thereof. I am not good at it at all. I'm, I'm not an expert on uh, time, let alone linear time and space. Uh, I'm not good at physicality, so I'm not very good at running this body, let alone using the law of attraction to what you would say create what I want. So, again, as I've told you guys before, I started these videos to reach out and find people that I could just chit-chat about. About what I experienced and what I know and to share with what you know. Um, you guys know that I never wanted to be anybody's guru or, or teacher or Jesus. Um, I'm just simply sharing what I know because I've got no amnesia when it comes to who we are, where we came from, all of the history of the planet, and this whole game, and other games beyond this game, um, which is a lot of information, and it's a lot more information than a lot of people have. When I came back with it, like I've told you guys before, it's a, a double-edged sword. Because on one hand, I am very comforted knowing that there is a place that is not this place that I would call home that I love very much, that has got the beings there that I love very much. And eventually I will be going back to that place that I call home where everything makes sense and 
uh, that I love it very, very much. Um, on the other hand, I know that there is another place that I'm going to go when I leave here that's home. <laughs> so basically, the same knowledge brings me both joy and grief at the same time. Because it makes it very, very difficult to sit in this game when I don't have amnesia, knowing that there's something else, and on top of that, knowing that I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> I really suck at it. So I've told you guys before that if you want assistance finding things that society and human beings say you need to have to be a successful person, um, a successful, acceptable, whatever their little check marks are, I am not the one that you need to call. There are people out there all over the place before the internet and now many more on the internet that can absolutely teach you how to be a more successful human being, how to use the law of attraction for you in, and make it an advantage. Because of my lack of experience in physicality, lack of experience in time, let alone linear time space, and specifically my lack of, of expertise in this particular game, which is a very intense form of linear time space and the law of attraction as you know it, in a human, very small human skin suit with very small human brain um, I am not very good at that stuff what I came on with when I first started these videos was number one some fine people to chit chat with and um, about what your experience was and what my experience has been and to also maybe ease uh, what I call a star seeds experience here because what I did find is I was getting extremely done with it all I was ready to uh, die I wanted to commit suicide I wanted out of here uh, when I came back from being dead I really wanted to be out of here and attempted suicide several times um, but I assure you that if even if you try really really hard if your higher self does not want you to go, or that wasn't the agreement you made, uh, I don't care how foolproof you think your plan is to kill yourself. If you're not meant to kill yourself, you're not going to get it done. Uh, believe me, don't believe me, it doesn't really matter. But when I came on, I really thought that would happen is I would go on the internet and say all this crazy weird stuff that I guarantee you before 2008, if I would have met me and said, this is my experience, I, as a neuro nurse, would have said, rolled my eyes behind the person's back, um, shook the hands of the family in sympathy, and said to myself, well, when she died, I would tell the family this, when she died, there are all kinds of these chemicals that get dumped in the system, and they can call cause hallucinations and delusions and that is what happened to her so be lovingly supportive and move forward i wouldn't have believed any more of that that's what i would have believed that's what i would have said to somebody like me or family members of somebody like me but when i was there there it feels like you're waking up from a dream from here feels very very much at home when you wake up from a dream, truly wake up from a dream, you don't have any question over whether or not that was a dream or not. You know it was. You get up, you move around. There may be a, a foggy area there for a few minutes. But after a bit, you know very good and well, that was the dream. This is the reality. Well, when I died, uh, not only was everything shut down, so nothing could flow through my system, but let's just give them that. Let's give them that, yes, uh, there is all kinds of chemicals and, and hormones and that get dumped in your system at the time of death. We'll, we'll just give it to them. 
and that there's a possibility that everything that they say is true. Even if that were true, it would not explain the fact that I felt what I felt. I knew what I knew. That that a situation like that would be not with as much detail as I have. There would be no explanation for that. For that uh, ability to cognitively remember in details now, what's it been, 12 years later and I'm 60 years old, the memory doesn't usually get better with age. It goes the other direction. Um, I don't see things less clearly. It hasn't faded like a memory does in here, in this game. It's just as sharp and real as when I came back with it. Everything is right there. The biggest thing, of course, is I just know it. I just know it like you just know anything. Pick a thing in your life that it doesn't matter what somebody tried to tell you to talk your way out of it. You would know like you know like you know that you loved that child of yours so much that you would absolutely put your life in front of theirs. Knowing 100% that you would die but that's what it would take to keep that child alive. You know like you know like you know that's exactly what you would do. Without a doubt. You can't prove that to anybody. Um, you hope that you don't have to prove that to anybody. But people who have had those kind of relationships with their children know what I'm talking about. That they, they know that they know that they know. that You just know you would instinctually without even thinking about it. There wouldn't be an assessment period. There would just be nope, not them, me, period, end of story. And that's the kind of knowingness that I'm talking about whenever I was on the other side. That everything here was a struggle. It was hard to remember things. It was hard to keep things in line because they were not logical to me. They made no sense. There was a lot of repeat activity that led to bad endings. It led to uh, bad things according to what humans want on their list of wants versus not want. It was on their list of not want, of recreating it over and over again. From the perspective of being a god and wanting to forget and wanting to experience not having everything that a god has, then it makes perfectly good experience because you, you would want to repeat those things that kept you in amnesia, that kept you playing the illusion of not being a god. So you would repeat these um, plans, these actions, these circumstances, these experiences that kept you in the lower vibrations and kept you in amnesia because that is the game. Now, back to what I was saying before, I actually came back and I say starseed. Starseed is probably not a good word. I probably need to come up with another word. I kind of heard it on the internet without actually looking to see what it was and what they were talking about. I think the New Age people who developed this word were actually talking about if you are here and you are seeded from like another planetary system within this universe or within the multiverse that you are seated this body that you're in was seated your consciousness was seated into this body from another civilization out there in the universe or multiverse within this game sitting from 3d 4d vicinity that's really accurate, um, and it's a good word for it, but it really isn't a good word for what I call starseeds. And what I'm saying about starseeds is that somebody whose consciousness was seeded into a human body with very, very few, um, less than five, sometimes ten, um, human lifetimes, or, or even lifetimes of any kind, on this planet within the 3D game. So it should be like outside the game seeds. <laughs> if anybody's got a good word, 
for me to replace star seeds with somebody else, the other word, then let me know. We'll have a, a contest, and I will give whoever wins the word, I will do a painting for you. Give it to you for free. There. So give me some ideas, folks. So it's people that have, do not have experience in this game at all, whether human or not, and they are their consciousness is seated from outside the game, within this game, and all of them, all star seeds that my star seeds outside the gamers, outside the gamers. We're gonna call them outside the gamers. The outside the gamers came from one for one reason, one reason first and foremost, and that is to assist Gaia in defractaling the lower energies merging them with the higher energies so she can raise to what we call the fifth dimension. Getting rid of all of the vibrations of anger and fear, allowing what you would consider magic back on the planet in a more gradual flow so that she can eventually raise that vibration, defractal it enough so that she can leave the game because she's going somewhere else. Whereas you were born, you go through all these stages, you die, and you leave the game. You came into the game, you literally come in like me. Come in with no experience, uh, no study on the matter. You could come here, be born, grow up, grow old, have all these experiences during, during that amount of time, die, leave the game, go back to where you're coming from. Okay? So... I did the when I when I really wasn't getting a lot of communication with anybody who had any kind of um, information like I had or experience like I had, then I moved it over to well, let me see if I can help the star seeds slash out of gamers out of gamers. <laughs> out of the game people I don't even remember what I made up a second ago but the people that are from outside the game to help them explain how this works so that when when an out of gamer comes here from outside this game when they come here and everything's upside down and crazy and nothing works that I could explain yeah this is how it does work this is why you're uncomfortable. Take a deep breath. You're not crazy. You can get out of this, and this is how. And I took that down to just a simple form of just focus on the now and be a little bit happier every single moment of every single day. So that's what the videos became. It became that. In the process of that, doing that, I got a lot of people, mostly, out of the game entities and most of them had more and more and more questions now when you when you don't feel your way which I told you guys to do that uh, the the point was me for for me to tell you things those were supposed to trigger your own knowingness your own memories so that you you would feel better knowing that you're not nuts right so instead, what happened is um, I would trigger people's knowingness and then they would start questioning themselves again. Well, and then questioning things about me and that led to more questions. More questions led to more videos. More videos led to more triggers in your knowingness. And again, didn't trust the knowingness. People didn't trust me. And it just kept going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So after about a year and a half, two years of that, actually about a year and a half, um, I definitely questioned whether or not this was helping or hurting. Because when I gave information that was supposed to trigger your knowing to make you feel better, all it did was lead to more questions that I may or may not have been able to answer according to what you wanted the answer to be. Uh, take, for instance, this is classic. So many people did this. Okay, I would explain the whole thing, and then I would say who you are, and they would say, but, 
I'm in love with this guy. And I've lived with him for X amount of time. I how does how does he fit into this? How do my kids fit into this? How does this this uh, job fit into this? How does money fit into this? And I will continue to say say the same thing I've always said. Those are all just parts of the game. That love of your life is an actor. That job is an illusion. The money is a prop. And none of that has to do with you remember and becoming at peace with this situation. None of that has anything to do with you being at peace and feeling better in within the game. Y'all know this already. There have been countless people, excuse me, humans that know that money doesn't, you don't find happiness in other people, in kids in money, in jobs, in the new car. It, you, you don't find happiness in any of that stuff. Yeah, shoot, even people know this. There are songs about it. There are discussions and books about it. That It doesn't work to do that. You are not going to find your happiness that way. And even humans know this, that you don't. You've got to, even RuPaul knows this. If you can't learn to love yourself, how the hell are you going to expect to love anybody else? Or how the hell do you expect anyone else to love you? Okay. So the trick here is to love you first and foremost. The most important thing is to develop that love for yourself. When you develop an unconditional love of self and know that everything that you've ever done, everything you ever will do is perfect. You may not understand it right now, but it is perfect. Not only is everything you've ever said or done perfect, everything that everyone else has ever said and done is perfect. You may not understand how that works with a, a child rapist serial killer, but I assure you it's the truth. It's the truth. So, then I went into, okay, well, here's this information, so hopefully the out-of-this-game players will feel better. But instead of feeling better, they just kept asking me the same questions, wanting me to answer it a different way. Okay, I know, Naya, I know all that, I know all that, but how do I keep my husband? No, 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 I know all that, I know all that, but I love this house. Oh, I know, I know, I agree with you, I remember it. You're absolutely right, but I really, really need to keep that money. Or I need to get money. I need to get the husband. I need to get the best job. Even though over and over again I've said, okay, you can do that, all of that stuff. You can get all that stuff. I don't have anything against it. I think it's wonderful that you want to have all of that stuff. Go find it. What I'm telling you, honestly and up front, that if that's what you're looking for, you are listening to the wrong person. This is not my expertise. This is not what I do. I'm not good at it. I've been divorced twice. I've moved all over the place. I blew up my own career a couple times. I'm self, just very, very self-destructive uh, because of PTSD and issues from my childhood. I do not know how to deal with these instant triggers that come up over and over again that interfere with the law of attraction. I am not any good at it. Doesn't mean it can't be done. It means I'm not good at it. Lots and lots of things I am really, really good at, but not all of those classical things that are done and are considered the successful things of a human. It's really hard for me to be focused on a job where even I would work 10 years and I'd make a million dollars and I knew it whenever I could still remember that I can create a universe with a blink of an eye. It's, it's really hard for me to focus on the smaller things. But I think you absolutely should if that's what makes you happier. I'm just saying that you should go to a law of attraction 
specialist, somebody who specializes in being a human. Because almost all of the people who are really, really successful as a human being um, gauges success, they almost all of them are long, 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 long-term humans. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't see any, with a quick glance, I don't see any that aren't long, long, long-term humans. Um, they're here. Okay, this is almost... Time's about up, so I'm going to go to the next part. Okay, so into part one. I'll go to part two now. Love you guys. Huge hugs. Bye.